Alright guys, welcome back to another video, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add a video player into your VRChat world um, using Unity. I apologize if I sound a little sick in this video, it's because I am a little sick in this video, um, but I want to go ahead and make the video because I'm going to forget to do it otherwise. Um, so, to preface a couple things you want to know before doing this is make sure that you're going to use... The VR chat creator companion I'm sure most of you probably are but if you're new to doing like this stuff um, and you just have unity and you're just using unity get this it's basically like an add-on to unity um, and it adds you know the VR chat SDK um, which is this thing right here um, and I'm not logged in at the moment because this is the new project but you log in and then you go to the builder and it helps you build and compile your worlds and upload them um, you don't even have to use the website or anything, so just wanted to let y'all know y'all can do that. It's a lot better than just using Unity and then trying to get it done through just Unity. Download the VRChat comp Creator Companion. There's a lot more specifically um, VRChat related stuff. So with that out of the way, let's get started. So to actually get the Unity package, you're going to have to go to the first link in the description. It's going to take you to this GitHub page. Um, we're going to be using the U Sharp video one because in my experience, out of the few different ones that I've tried, this is the one that works most consistently um, and has the easiest setup. So this is basically like a bare bones beginner's tutorial on how to do this. But if you want to go on the extra step, there are other options like TV Pro 3. Just keep in mind, those take a lot more to set up and a lot more Unity knowledge. So if you're a pretty beginner, go with this one. You're not going to have any issues with it. Other ones are just for more customization, but you can still customize this one pretty well. Um, so head over to the releases tab and just click whatever the latest one is. So in this case, it's October 2023. It's probably going to be like that for a long time. Um, scroll down to the assets and download this Unity package file. And it might take a second to like validate or whatever, but it's going to download. It's going to end up in your downloads folder. Um, so you can see it is right here. I actually have it twice because I downloaded it the other day. Um, what you're going to want to do now is in your Unity, make sure that down here you are in the assets root. Um, now technically you can put this wherever you want. So like if I wanted to unpack this in the Udon Sharp package, I, in the Udon Sharp folder, I could. Um, but I would just say like anything you're unpacking, just do it in the root of the assets because then you'll have all your assets packaged right here and then you can go down through them folder wise. So all you have to do is just click and hold, drag this over to the assets uh, dialog box, window box, whatever, and just drop it in. It's going to pull up um, this right here. Don't check anything off. Just just click import. It's gonna, you're gonna want all of it because it needs all of it to run. Now, depending on how good your computer is, this is gonna take a minute. Um, basically, it's just unpacking it like a zip file and compressing things to get them to function. Um, and there's a pretty good chance you'll see this error. You'll get argument null exception value cannot be null when you import this. I've used this so many times and I've had no issues despite this popping up, so you shouldn't either. Um, and if you do, then go back to the github page they do have an issues tab with a lot of well a lot of common and well-known issues that you can read and um figure out what the problem is so now we have our folder right here u sharp video let's go ahead and open it and all you need to do is right here you'll see the prefab and you can drag and drop this in anywhere in the world or if you just want to drop it in your hierarchy you can i always just drop it in the hierarchy and boom, as you can see, it's already right there. So if you don't know what a prefab is, basically a prefab is just a, it's literally a prefabricated asset. So it's something someone else made, they put into a Unity package for stuff like this, so you don't have to make it on your own. Now, keep in mind, if you wanna go in and edit things individually, you can. So here is like the materials folder that it uses the materials, which in this case is just black and white, but you can change these. So if you want the screen to be something other than black when it's not being used you can change the material for that and make it whatever color you would like um you can edit the scripts but i really wouldn't recommend editing the scripts 
um, there's shaders, styles, textures. You can change the user, the user interface. Like here's all the icons. You can change them if you want to. Um, all that stuff is going to be up to you and not something most people are going to want to do. So I'm not going to cover that in too much detail here. Um, but just know it is an option if you have a little more Unity experience. So now that the Ustart video is in here, you're going to want to make sure you unpack this because um, prefabs will overlap each other and conflict if you don't unpack them. So you'll know it's a prefab if it's glowing blue like this in the hierarchy. All you got to do is just right click, go down to the prefab tab, and then click unpack. And it'll unpack it into a regular object and it's no longer a, pre a prefab. And again, you want to do that because having prefabs, having multiple prefabs in your hierarchy can cause very many confliction errors. But as soon as you unpack them, they're not a prefab anymore and you'll be good to go. So... Um, if you want to edit stuff like this individually, obviously you can select the entire thing, move it, um, rotate it, resize it, whatever you want to do. But if you'd like to edit things individually, like say I just want the screen to be bigger, um, you can open up the extension of the hierarchy on the Ustart video and you can find where it is. So you can see video screen is right there. And then let's say I want to scale also, like if I try to scale it right now, um, like this like it's going to do this but let's say i want it to just scale you know all sides you can go up to the top right where in transform click go to scale and then you'll see this little icon right here enable constrained proportions enable that and now it's going to size it'll it'll uh, match the size to all sides um and you can do that with any object in unity by the way i'm just kind of showing it with this but and then it's like okay well now it's that's covering it so then you can move it up um, and now, you know, since you move the screen, you're going to want to move the audio sources. So we'll move them up a little bit. These little icons are just the audio sources. So this is where you're going to be hearing the sound from on the TV. So let's say you want to do a surround sound thing and you have like, let's say this, let's say this camera is a couch, right? You have a couch right here and you have a really big theater screen and you want it to be like surround sound. You can move the audio back behind the couch so it has surround sound or you could like leave one in front of the tv and then two behind the couch you'll get the audio coming out on all three of these points so just keep that in mind um you are able to edit this as well however you want um to just kind of move around i would make sure to go and select the whole thing so if you just click controls ui up here in the hierarchy it's going to select all of this and again you can do whatever you need to do with it resize it reshape it whatever you want to do um, so yeah, keep in mind that this is not going to work, um, in, un in the Unity editor itself. So like, you can't put a link in here. Um, well, I mean, you can input a link, but you can't play it unless you build. So, um, I'm not going to build it because I had to log in and stuff. Well, I I'll do it. I'll do it anyways. But, um, I do want to show you how to input a, um, a, uh, da -da 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 link a default link um so let me just grab a video real quick this one will do um if you don't want to know how to do any of this extra stuff like you're good to go once you have this placed in and sized however you want you can build and you'll be fine um i'm just kind of going over some extra stuff now um so if you want to have a custom video or a video playing when someone joins an instance of the world um, you want to go and select the U Sharp video in the hierarchy and then go over here to playlist on the right tab and you're going to want to click the plus button under list is empty and paste any URL uh, that's a video in this case I'm doing YouTube and this is going to automatically default play this is going to default to playing this link as soon as someone joins so um, I'm going to get logged in really quick and then um i will build and i will show you um that it works and all that stuff all right so i'm going to quickly show you how you can make it so that you can just test your world without uploading it um so you do have to give it a name so i'm going to give it u sharp video tutorial tutorial test uh, you can change the max capacity and the recommended capacity um you can add an image we're not going to add an image right now um, or we'll just go ahead and do that. You can like capture whatever is on screen. Um, add a description. And um, we'll ignore the alerts because these three kind of just always pop up. Um, so now that we have this filled out really quickly, you're going to want to do whatever you want with it. 
If you want to go ahead and build it and publish it online, you can. However, I would recommend testing the world first and doing that by, and doing that means y'all need to change it from build and publish your online world to build and test your world. And you'll see a build and test version and you're going to want to force non VR if you're not testing in VR. So I'm going to be testing in desktop, but you can test in VR. Just know there's no real reason to test in VR unless you have VR exclusive um, content. But yeah, I'm going to click build and test. It's going to take a minute, even for my computer. Like I have a pretty nice computer and it still takes a minute. It just depends on how big your world is and what's in it. And, you know, it could take a minute or 30 seconds or even 10 seconds. Um, I'm working on another world for me and my friends. And, you know, when, when I first started making it, it would take, you know, like maybe 20 seconds to load. And now it takes like three minutes to load because of how much stuff is in there. But as you can see, this time it didn't take very long to load because there's not really much um to go off of but as you can see the video started playing um i don't think you can hear the audio i have the audio muted so i apologize about that but um you get the idea you can put a url in you can change the audio do whatever so yeah that's pretty much how you're able to um use a um video player in your world it's very very simple and um let me know if this helped and if i should do more vr chat unity tutorials because when I was learning this stuff, the tutorials that were out just weren't very good, um, and there just weren't tutorials for some stuff. So I'll probably do some more tutorials, and um, yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.